In this video, we're going to be talking about the four simple smash shot mistakes beginners make. Let's jump right in. Number one is a lack of variety in your smashes. In a previous video, I shared with you four different types of smashes. A full smash, a half smash, a slice smash, and a stick smash. You should be using all these types of smashes in your badminton game. If you're only hitting one type of smash, your opponent has an easy time of predicting what you are going to hit. For example, if you're only hitting full smashes, your opponent can already start to back up and prepare for the speed of the full smash. However, if you were to mix in different types of smashes, your opponent would have to keep guessing and they couldn't back up or predict what type of smash shot you will hit. By using more variety in your smash shots, the different types of smashes will be able to get through your opponent and have more effectiveness. Number two is hitting smashes at the wrong times. A lot of players think that if they hit a smash, they'll be winning the point. They control the offense and thus they will end up winning the point. However, this is not necessarily true. A lot of times if you hit a smash at the wrong time, this can put you in a bad position during the rally. For example, if your opponent hits very deep and high lifts or clears to the back, you shouldn't be hitting a smash then. If you hit a smash then, your shot will be much slower and weaker when it crosses the net, giving your opponent an easier time to re-attack your smash shot and get their offense back. You should try to hit smash shots after you successfully set it up. For example, in the front, if you hit a good spin net drop and they hit a loose lift back, here, you should definitely use a smash. Otherwise, don't force yourself to just hit a smash at any time. Make sure you see your opponent hit a weaker shot before you decide to commit and hit the smash shot. Number three is overusing smashes. Smashes are a powerful tool to help you win a rally. But, when overused, it does not become as powerful. Your opponent can adjust to the speed of your smashes and get used to these shots. If you keep only hitting smashes, they don't need to worry about your clears or drop shots. They just have to focus on your smash shots. Even if you are an attacking player, there are many more shots you can hit besides smashes. Punch clears, fast drops, and slice drops are all great options to mix up your shots and eventually help your smashes get through. The more you overuse your smashes in a game, the easier it is for your opponent to start returning them. Make sure you add general variety into your shots and don't only hit smash shots, even if your smash is very strong. And number four, many beginners don't follow up their smashes. Make sure you follow up your smashes. This means when you hit a smash shot, you're moving to the front or getting ready for their next shot. You can't assume that your smash shot is going to be a winner, no matter how strong or how great your smash was. You must be ready to get to the next shot. If your opponent's able to return one of your good smash shots to the front, and you're late to the front, you might have to end up lifting the shot again, wasting your whole setup and attack. Instead, if you used a long step footwork and got to the front early, you could follow up your smash shot with a quick kill or push shot, winning you the rally. A good way to remember how to do this is, if you were to hit straight smash, follow up your shot straight. If you were to hit a cross smash, follow up your shot cross. At a beginner level, this generally works because the easiest way to return a smash is with a straight block. However, when you get to a much higher level, this becomes harder since your opponent has more variety in their defense. But to keep it simple, follow up your smash to the side you hit it on. 
and try to get that kill shot right then and there. And those are the four badminton smash shot mistakes that beginners make. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, don't forget to keep practicing your smashes.